Hey YouTube, it's Justin Cabelga from JKR and we're back for another Friday vlog. We got a lot of stuff for you this week. Chase had a great time at the uh, post office dropping off all the stuff. We got some footage from that. Then we actually had a school group come and visit and uh, you get to see a little bit of footage of Justin explaining ball pythons in the most basic terms, which I kind of struggled with, but it was a lot of fun. Then we get to look at a crazy Batman, the brightest one we've ever made. Um, we get to look at the egg cutting and then look at it all shed out. We brought the Batman a long ways in the last five years, and it's really cool to see the current Apex. I say current, we're still working on it, um, but this is really cool. So let's dig into it and enjoy the vlog. Okay, so I'm here at USPS in our, our little Claremont area, and I told him I had one or two boxes, you know, I might need a cart for. So they were like, okay, you know, we'll give him a cart for a couple boxes. So let's, um, let's see how full we can get this cart. you could help sure. guys I think help just came so remember the uh, one or two packages yeah. I said I had mm -hmm. well do you, do you think you could help with like one or oh two hundred packages maybe giant shout out to USPS and Claremont they're awesome let's keep uh, filling up this cart with all of our packages That is all of it. So for one or two packages, maybe a couple hundred packages, uh, once again, huge, huge shout out to our local USPS here in Claremont. They're absolutely awesome and we appreciate them. All ball pythons, because you scare them, tend to ball their heads up like this, they'll put their head in the middle, so believe it or not, this is exactly the same kind of snake as the one you just saw. Only this one has a mutation. It has something that changes how it looks. So some of you guys have red hair and blue eyes, why is he white? dark why is he eyes. White? <laughs> That's why, because you've got a mutation that makes him that way. All right, guys, I forgot to hit record until just now. <laughs> So I'm going back. Okay, so this is, that's the first baby there. This is a fire Batman to a special yellow belly clown. Really great, excited about that. Looking for some special Batman, special spot noses, fire and yellow belly mixed in. And this first baby, um, looks like it to me, I would say this is a ni very nice special clown or maybe a special fire clown. Really light, really pretty. It's like the special clowns a lot of times have that spot on the head there. Like a, almost a solid backed head, but then like a round spot in it. Um, almost all these already had their heads out. That was the first one we cut. And we're looking for some, some really neat combos here. That one, I could just see a little bit through the corner of the egg. It looks pretty amazing. Whoa. Okay. That's, that's gorgeous. That's got to be a special yellow belly fire clown. That takes, I take back what I thought a little bit about that last one. That was just a special clown. Look at that. I say yellow belly because I can see some big flames coming up here on the side, but look how light and bright that is. That is amazing. Wow. I want to see a Batman version of that. I won't be on the business. Um, that looks like a... Uh, normal, maybe. It's really light, but it doesn't look like... Huh. It doesn't look like any other specific thing. It's not as bright as a special. Or... I say normal. I meant normal clown, of course. That is a beautiful Batman. Whew. Wow. Look how bright that is. That is, that is almost like just pure tan and black. Great contrast all the way through. Every, pa every, every black is just stark. That's amazing. But what is it? Well, it's at least fire. 
It's at least Fire Batman. I, I couldn't rule out Fire Special Batman. I just don't really know what I'm looking for yet. That is so bright, though. I wouldn't rule that out. It looks brighter than most of my Fire Batmans, but they can be pretty exceptional at times. That was cool. This one's got some more veins in it. Wow. There's another one, basically, that Fire Special Posse Yellow Belly. Extremely bright, extremely nice. Amazing we've had so many they don't have either spot nose or leopard. That's another Batman. So we can pull that. Oh, it's completely, see, here's the tip of the uh, completely absorbed its yolk. So that one is basically just as bright as the previous one. I'm tempted to think that this has got to be a, a special Batman. I don't know, that belly almost, almost really suggests yellow belly. You see kind of the orange kind of features here on the edge of the belly. Wow. That's part of the, the challenge with Batmans. You can kind of get them to look better and better and brighter and nicer. But IDing the individual genes when you have pattern that's this strong, it's hard to know if you're dealing with fire or yellow belly or spot nose or red stripe because the pattern is almost always that. They just get cleaner and cleaner as they go. Now this head, a little bit I saw, this head looks like phenomenal. Oh, this is the, oh, okay. <laughs> wow. So this kind of shows you the progression. You think, you, you, you think you've seen something and then you get something that's even brighter. This is also a Batman, but this one also, uh, it's got a little bit of yolk left. This one's definitely got more genes in it than the previous ones, which tells me the previous ones don't have all the genes. That's, that's just deductive reasoning there. Wow. So I can fish his head out just a little bit here. Come on. It's almost done with the yolk. Got a tiny little bit left. Whoa. Guys, this is, this is the full deal right there. That's beyond any Batman I've ever made by a long shot. Cleanness, brightness, got blushing in the pattern, which is so hard to get. That orange, orange uh, edging. This is the ultimate Batman right here, guys. The best one, best I've ever made. Wow. Okay, well, that's exciting. Very exciting. That tells me these two are missing something that that one has. And so maybe we can tell that better as they come out. And we got so many different enhancing genes involved that that's always a challenge. And this is the only one that didn't have his head out already. Oh, nice. Okay. That looks like a, uh, another like fire special yellow belly type thing. So we have three of these. They're very similar to each other. Super cool. What a clutch, guys. I'm really excited about these, especially that one, but every one of these fire specials are really pretty far beyond what I expected. These two Batmans are phenomenal. Got a nice special clown and a really bright normal clown. It worked out great. All right, so that's the clutch cutting. I was so excited when these hatched and they look way better for a shed. Let's dive into those. These actually turned out really, really cool. Starting with a, just a regular special clown. You see how bright they are with the nice um, red dorsal. Just a lot of brightness. They're brighter than Orange Dream Clown. They're brighter than Fire Clowns. So you see why we use special. Right now we're trying to figure out how to use special more and more as an enhancer mutation in these combos. Not use it for the crystal anymore, but use it as an enhancing morph. It's so beautiful. But really what it does is when you combine with other enhancing morphs like Fire and Yellow Belly, you're down, turn out with an incredible result. This is a Fire Yellow Belly special clown. And we got two females of this in the clutch and just turned out absolutely ridiculous. So they have like a different color orange, different kind of creamy look to them than we're seeing from other combos. And so this is kind of a unique look that we're achieving, which was all about is finding the different ways of making combos look different colors that we can't do with other mutations. So these are incredible. Look at all the flames from the yellow belly in there, the color from the fire, of course the patterns clown, and then the color again is enhanced by that special. So now we're on to the Batmans, and the Batmans are not easy to identify. They're a bit of a challenge for sure. This one I believe is Fire Yellow Belly Batman. And you see how incredibly bright it is. 
It almost has these little flecks of different kind of colors mixed in there in the head and everything. I'm not sure what does that. We've seen it with several different Batman combos and other combos though as well. But you see the edging here from a yellow belly influence, which is what's telling me it's yellow belly, fire Batman. Yellow belly does not change the pattern of Batman much, but the fire definitely changes the color a lot. This one's hard. This one I really think is a special Batman. It could be fire special Batman. It's a little bit brighter than this one, a little bit cleaner. It doesn't have the yellow belly markings at all, but it's extremely bright, absolutely gorgeous. And the last one is the one, you guys remember this out of the egg, from the egg cutting. This is the brightest and craziest. This one, I believe, has all the genes, so fire, special, yellow belly, Batman. And it is so bright. It has the little flecking from the, like the other one. It has the yellow belly markings coming in pretty strongly. And of course, it's way brighter. All the blushing coming in on the dorsal, edging around the side. Really, really, really impressed with this snake. So it's kind of cool. I was, I'm excited to be able to show you guys these right after the egg cutting so you can see what they look like shed out, looking great out of the egg. All right, there you have it. That's the clutch and it's fantastic. Really excited to put another really crazy Batman girl on the shelf, although I wish it was a boy. Um, fire, yellow belly, special Batman. So cool, really cool to see. Um, before you go this week, I want to give you one last pitch for the calendar. It's fantastic and you can still get it before Christmas, so put your orders in now. We are over halfway sold on these, so not a ton left, but it's a really, really good thing and Brittany and I worked really hard on this, so I hope you get a chance to share it with you and your family for the new year. So thanks again, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon.